Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders again. As usual, I am going to start with a bit of dynamic stretching. It hardly takes 3 to 5 minutes. I always keep mentioning it. If you feel that it's a too long of a process, it's not. Just 3 minutes. Just make sure that your mobility is good and you can start off, I think, perfectly for any kind of strength training or oh, any other training, even if it's running, I think two to three minutes of dynamic stretching gives you a lot of good mobility and gets you all warmed up before you start your actual workout, whichever type you choose it to be. Of course, my dynamic stretching routine has the same three, the greater stretch followed by a deep squat, then the bird dog pose to improve core strength. The only pose which I hold is the bird dog pose for about 5 to 10 seconds rest of them i just flow through them so yes that's the reason it only takes three to four minutes to complete the entire routine you may if you still choose to skip this part it's absolutely your choice but i would strongly suggest that you add this on because it's time consuming and the benefits are a lot more post completing these i move on to my first mobility drill of course, whenever I work on my shoulders, I make sure I do at least a couple of sets of mobility drills, either ray dealt uh, raises, banded overhead presses or around the head rotations of a weight. So this is what I'm doing. I just take a heavy plate. The weight need not to be extremely heavy. You can progressively overload over the weeks. You can do five kilos for two weeks and then load it up 10 kilos for the next two weeks. And if it feels heavy, even three weeks, then go for 15 kilos. So good way to warm your shoulder joint up, all the muscles. I mean, it's not, but yes, you can say that they wake up and then you're good to go with all your presses. So I would always recommend to do one, any one kind of mobility drill for your shoulders just before you start working them out to ensure proper functioning during the lifts because shoulders are where most of us falter so it's good to be over cautious the first exercise i started doing was an experiment it's not a new exercise it's pretty uh, established and many people do it quite often so i'm laying down on a flat bench at an incline angle as you can see and i'm doing side lateral races with the dumbbell in hand and as you can see because i'm laying down my arm comes all the way across my body stretches my delt and from there i raise it up all the way creating full range of motion three sets 20 repetitions and here in the wide angle you can see how i position myself yes it's a little bit awkward position but the exercise still works i would definitely ask you to try it out if it doesn't in the first set you can always skip to a regular lateral race and it's absolutely fine even cable lateral race but yes most important muscle we want to grow Heavily is our lateral delt, so make sure we spam it as much as possible. After completing those, I chose to do one set of, uh, actually one exercise, three sets of ray delt races with barbell behind my back. This is my favorite exercise for my ray delt work. Works absolutely perfectly and good isolation because most of the time during the compound movements in my back day, the ray delt is being worked. So to isolate it, I just perform this one particular exercise every once in a while for three sets. I get an amazing amount of burn and I'm good to go. So yes, the burn is a lot and repetitions I try to keep up to 20, go as close to failure as possible and take 60 seconds of break. Post, uh, one thing I want to mention is if for any reason, if you're not able to perform this Raises in such manner, you can always take a support of a bench, like position a bench at an incline angle and put your chest on it and then perform this repetition so that you have support at the forward position if you can't stay bent over in this position for a long period of time for any reason. Post completing these, I moved on to overhead presses on the Smith machine. I'm still trying the reverse grip just to see how it works. I've done this last time also, I'm trying this time. If it doesn't give me a great re results, I'm going to change it. As of now, I 
give every exercise at least a couple of tries to make sure that okay this is not something which is working for me this is something which is working for me so that's how i choose my exercises so you need not do it in this particular fashion only you can do it with simply dumbbells overhead press regular grip overhead press with barbell even if overhead press with your if available a shoulder press is absolutely fine so four sets 12 repetitions with good 60 seconds break in between catching my breath feeling my muscles fatigue lessen and then i go on to my next set the last set which i have done i kind of did a drop set wherein i have completed about seven repetitions i couldn't lift any more so i dropped the weight a little bit and then moved on to do as many repetitions as possible drop the weight twice actually so yes here as you can see i was getting tired of that grip also so i switched the grip so any overhead press is absolutely fine to finish off my shoulder workout i went back to lateral races this time uh, standing lateral races but chest supported so i'm the incline is not per perfect 90 degrees it's about I, i don't know maybe around 80 75 degrees and slightly lean on to it my chest is supported and there i start doing my lateral races with the dumbbell and as you can see control repetitions not throwing weight around light weight just five kilos each hand and then uh, repping it out to almost close to 20 repetitions trying to take it as close to failure as possible by now your shoulders are in absolute fatigue or should be giving you a burning sensation so yes you would not be able to lift heavy weight so make sure whatever weight you lift take it as close to failure as possible and pretty much that sums up our shoulder workout if you feel that it's a heavily lateral delt dominant exercise that's because as i mentioned earlier that's what you want to grow as much as possible to get those round shoulders and make them as strong as possible overhead press uh, press do help but to build the muscle you need to isolate it a little bit i finished off with a little bit of core work not necessary again you can skip this part if you already have a great strong core i just simply did few number of decline uh, crunches as close to failure as possible three times hardly took three to five minutes so any core workout is absolutely fine and that's it we are done with our exercising thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i am finishing off with a simple vertical hang i always choose to do this because first it helps me build on to the endurance of my forearms the grip strength and also acts like a decompression for my shoulders because all this while i have been pressing on them i have been contracting those muscles so when i'm hanging my shoulders are kind of decompressing i don't know really but it feels great so yes that's it once again thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and have a good day